Good morning, Christian brothers and sisters. So I just wanted to tell you something very important that God revealed to me. And please excuse me, my voice is a little bit raspy because my mouth is dry. But I think this is very important to tell you as far as people in pain and people in suffering. And I, I just want people to come into the knowledge of this, that God is spirit. So you have to come to him in spirit and in truth. You have to reveal the truth of why you're in pain. You have to reveal the truth of why you're in suffering. And, you know, there are levels and levels of pain and levels and levels of suffering. Some people say, well, I'm in pain because um, I miss my children. I'm in pain because I'm not married. I'm in pain because I don't have a job. I'm in suffering because I don't have any money. Let me tell you something. If you didn't have anything except God himself, would you be satisfied? Would you be happy? Now, some people say, well, I would be happy because I would have money. I would have a job. I would have uh, children. I would have a husband. I would have, you know, grandchildren. I would have everything that, that I need. Say, no. Do you understand that God created all things into existence? So since he created all things into existence, since he is the source of existence, then all you need is just the presence of God and you should be happy. That's all you need. He will give you what you truly need. He will give you according to his will, not your will. He will give you according to his plans. Not your plans. So yes, maybe visiting your grandchildren will make you happy. Maybe having children will make you happy. Maybe having the right man will make you happy. But doesn't God make you happy? The Spirit of God. You can call upon the Spirit of God. God will never reject you. He will never reject you. He'll reject your sins, but he won't reject you. So you have to be forthcoming when it comes to your suffering. You have to get to the root, to the root of the problem. Why are you always seeking a man? It's because your father left you. It's because maybe your brother passed away, your big brother passed away a long time ago. Why are you always crying all the time every time you see children? Why are you always asking to see your own grandchildren so bad and you want your own grandchildren to live with you? even though they have their own mother and their own father. Why do you, mm, why do you feel that money is going to cover down upon your pain? It's because someone taught you that money helps you, but it's very temporary. See, you got to get to the root. You got to go beyond just one or two layers. Now, every single one of us have been through some kind of trauma, some kind of abuse, some kind of drama in our lives, and we blame other people. But how we respond to that drama, we should blame ourselves. If we say that we know Jesus Christ and we don't bring that trauma, that drama to the feet of God, to his mercy seat, if we don't bring it to him, then that's our fault. And I'm not saying bring it to a church or to a pastor. You have to bring it before God. God is spirit. If you truly believe that God truly exists and you have a real relationship with him, you have to come before him and bring it to his feet and say, Lord, this is what's going on in my life. Lord, do you see this pain that's happening to me? I want to reveal it before you. I want to reveal the root of it. My mother went away. My father passed away. No one trusts me anymore because this happened. This abuse happened. You see, God can't heal you spiritually until you come to him in spirit and in truth. You have to come to him in spirit and in truth. And it's not always in a church building. You come to him in your bedroom. You come to him every morning. Every time you feel like you every time you feel like breaking down and crying. Every time you feel like you're worthless. Every time you feel like, oh, you know, I'm a lost cause. Every time you feel like you want to pick up that bottle and drink. Every time you feel like you want to take those opiums every morning. 
And you feel it just covers down upon your emotional pain and your emotional suffering. And I'll tell you one other thing, that no matter how much pills you take, no matter how much alcohol you take, and maybe you don't drink alcohol every weekend, but you drink it every once in a while to cover up upon your pain and upon your suffering, no matter how much or how little you take, it's never going to cover down upon spiritual pain and emotional pain. It may get you lost a little bit. It may get you get you tired and going to sleep a little bit. It may get you loose. But that pain is still going to be there when the effects wear off of the alcohol and the opiums. So if you're in pain and you're in suffering and you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, then you have to come before the feet of our king. You have to come before him. And mm, bring everything that you know about your life ever since you were young you have to bring everything to his feet he can take it all right just because you can't take it doesn't mean he can't take it just because you're in pain and you're in suffering because of the things that happened to you ever since you were young does not mean he can't take it there is nothing new under the sun that he has not seen so he's not going to condemn you or he's not going to you know, uh, bad mouth you. God, Jesus is not going to bad mouth you or condemn you when you bring these things before him. Yes, you brought it before a psychiatrist. You brought it before a therapist. And they were pretty close to actually giving you a solution, but you didn't reveal everything to them because you thought that they would condemn you. But God would never condemn you when you are very open about what happened to you when you were very young. People know what I'm talking about. Please, I, I don't want to. I don't want to say it, but you you know what it is. You know exactly what happened to you. So we need to all need to come to our Lord Jesus Christ. We need to come to Him. We need to come to our Heavenly Father, and truly believe that He can actually heal our soul because He made our soul. Please don't be afraid. Don't say God can't handle this. No, God can handle anything. He can handle anything. Yes, he can. He is God. That's why you call him God, right? He can overcome all things. If Jesus can overcome death in the grave, then why shouldn't he be able to overcome everything that causes death in the grave? Inside your soul, it feels like you're dead. Inside your body, it feels like you're the walking dead and you feel like you're useless. It feels like you're worthless. But yet, God paid a heavy price for your soul. He paid not in gold, not in silver, but he paid for his one and only son, Jesus Christ. And since he paid with Jesus Christ, what's going to be your response? What's going to be your response? It's, the response should not be, oh, I'm going to go to church. The response should be, I'm going to get on my face and I'm on my knees to God. That's what it should be. They say, I, I give everything to you, Lord Jesus. I give everything to you. I want to reveal and expose everything to you. Everything that happened in my childhood. Everything. But I got to go, guys. I just want to say I love you. Please reveal everything to God. Be truthful. Come in spirit and in truth. Don't come covering up your pain and your suffering. Don't cover up the root of the issue. You know exactly what happened when you were young. You know exactly what happened. So tell him about it. Be open about it towards him. Yes, he already saw it. And you're like, why didn't God do anything about it? Well, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to live in it and allow it, allow it to just destroy you for the next few years and decades? Or are you going to come before his seat? His glory seat and receive that healing. I just want to say I love you. Jesus first, God first, and may the kingdom always come first. Stay blessed in the Holy Spirit. Amen.